Welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Hoping I'm not going to have trouble with my camera. It looks to me like it keeps going out of focus, but I think it's doing okay now. I have a definite idea for something today that may or may not work. I always love experimenting on YouTube. I did this a while back and it turned out okay, but I wanted to try it again. What I'm going to do is not really use any water or just next to none and just use a lot of colors and a brush and do a probably an abstract painting. If it turns into something, I might go with that. We'll just see. But um, I've got four cups of water because once I use a brush, it'll ruin it. It's acrylic paint, so it'll ruin it if I don't get it right into water. And then I'll just have to pick up another brush. I didn't draw it because I just thought it would be better just to kind of go into this and just see what happens. But as I said, I do have a definite idea. And I'm going to use a fairly small brush. Uh, not super small, just kind of in between. Ooh. Now, just um, one that I think ought, ought to work fairly well. And I'm going to get the brush that's a little bit wet so I can get the hairs together, but that's all. And I'm going to pick up a number of colors at the same time with some white. And then I'm just going to let them mesh and do it. Just go in there and see what happens. And I, as I said, I had a, a definite idea that it's going to really change if I get the brush wet. And I'm going to really try to avoid that. Um, I already want to <laughs> get it wet and get some different colors, but if I do that, I'm going to lose this. So I'm just going to keep on going into it. Get a little more color. Now this is something I think I've mentioned before that I do a lot in my oil paintings. Once I've done a number of layers, they're all done in the traditional thin to thick layer, then I take a lot of colors plus the white at the same time and let colors come out of it on the canvas, which is really, really a fascinating effect and not recommended. <laughs> I know I certainly wasn't taught that. It is something that I've developed for myself. And it, it really gets into a lot of complexity. And as I've said many times, I like my artwork to be very complex. Okay, I probably should change the brush soon. But I'm getting some of what I want right through there. A lot of complexity and a lot of change in the color. And then I'm going to do it again in a different direction. Oh, maybe I'll just, I think I'll just wipe the brush. Because I'm, I'm getting too, too many colors together now for what I want. So I just wiped the brush so I didn't have to pick up a new one. Yeah, I wanted to get that in there. Okay, this is essentially the abstract shape I wanted to get. And then I'm going to go in with a counter effect in another direction. Now I'm going to get a different brush. And let's see what happens. It's not all like what I anticipated, but <laughs> my paintings on YouTube never are. I just really enjoy experimenting and trying different things. And now I want to go, so I went this way, now I want to go this way with that curving shape and bring it out to the edges more and go underneath it, sort of. I'm surprised the white's not bugging me. I know you've heard me say many times that, you know, because white is a combination of all colors, it kind of bugs me when I'm putting down colors because you can't really see the color relationships when you've got the white going out, just, you know, coming out at you so strongly. Okay, I'm really sticking to the warm section in this this one. I really like it though. I'm just going to wipe the brush because if I get it wet, it's going to start bleeding and I don't want this one to bleed. I'm trying real, real hard to avoid that. And I am succeeding. Also, if I've said before, if you watch my YouTube, you don't paint this way. <laughs> um, when I do YouTubes, most of them are not for sale. You can get great archival prints. But the original not for sale. And usually if you paint this way, it's just gonna crack off. You gotta put it thin to thick. Now I realize there are some painters that don't, but um, it's my strong opinion that you're you're gonna run into problems of the paint cracking off if you start off with really thick layers. Okay, well I'm really liking this. I didn't think it was gonna turn out this well. I thought I was gonna get really aggravated with it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the white. 
but I'm trying to get a lot of complexity in these areas, and I think that's what I'm reacting to. Okay, I did just get the brush a little bit wet to get that paint off. The other one, I just let it bleed, and it turned out okay, but it wasn't the effect I was trying to get, because I just had to get the brush wet, and even though I had different cups of water, I still, it was still just too difficult to not get in there and wet, get that, uh, clean that brush off as I moved along through this. Well, oh, I'm hoping this is going to be something that I'm going to be happy with in this YouTube because I'm working on my commission, beach commission. I'm real pleased. I've got the first layer done, and what I do with commissions is I do the first thin layer, which is going to look a lot like what it's going to end up to be, and I send that to the patron to see if we're in agreement, and he was thrilled. He really likes it. He said, said I was amazing. <laughs> That's nice to hear. said I was an amazing artist, and to just, that looks great. I just keep going. Okay. All right, now I'm kind of just filling in those areas. That's not what I intended to do. I wanted to go in different areas, but like I said, I never know with these things. These experiments, they are a lot of fun, and they really push me as an artist. And that's, that's always great. I am still using the white in with the colors and not using water. But I'm not getting the pattern, so I am glad I didn't draw it because it would have been frustrating. I was trying to get a very specific pattern of these loops, and instead I've kind of just looped them around and around. Okay, I might be getting another brush soon. Now, let me see. Okay, now it's a matter of really deciding. I, I am going to get rid of the white, but I don't want this to mesh too much. So I might just take some blue and purple so it'll be fairly dark, because I have a fairly pretty dark blue and start to get that in so I don't lose these areas. I'm not using much white now. And it's kind of meshing together. But I think I'm, I'm going to be happy enough with this that I don't have to work on it because i got too much else to do. I know I say that ad nauseum, but I really do. Okay, I think I'm going to work in some more um, warm colors. This is working out. I'm not really using the, all the cups of water. I'm just really, really making sure the brush is very dry. So that, that's working out a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, it's going to get to the point where I've got it all covered and then I can start making decisions whether I think it worked out and whether I like the way it works in terms of design. And I know I said this ad nauseum too, but I always like to explain this kind of art because I run into so many people that don't understand it and think that artists are just kind of making up stuff and just telling you a lot of nonsense, and that's not true. Uh, we all have visual biases, we all have things we like to see, and things we're not so crazy about seeing. When an artist works this way, you either just like to look at it and you respond to it because just of the way it looks, or you don't, certainly don't have to, but you can't bring your visual biases into it. And then it becomes music without words. And I like it all. I couldn't be more eclectic. I just think art is fascinating. My favorite eras, as I said before, are Impressionism and Expressionism, and that's what my work is mainly goes back to. Even though it's unique to me, it really does have strong Impressionistic and Expressionistic elements. Okay, now I just seem to want to get rid of the last little bits of white with some yellow. And then I might just say, this is fine so I can get to my commission. And there will be prints available. I like it. It's definitely, I, I used enough colors into the brush that it became very complex very quickly. And that, that for me, that um, means I'm not gonna have to go back into it because it's complex enough. Oh, I really like that. I always like taking the pink and the yellow together. You get such a really wonderful Wonderful color. Oh, one more thing. I thought it was very nice. Another artist who's working towards monetization said, I ought to do that. And that, that was really nice of her, and I really appreciate it, because I'm now over a thousand, and thank you very, very much. That's so nice. But um, I looked it up, and I can't be monetized. It's not just the number of subscribers. You have to have a certain number of watch hours, and I don't have that yet. So, you know, 
And uh, YouTube will let you know too, which is very interesting. They'll, they'll send you an email when you're qualified. They say, want you to be monetized, but they'll send you an email and I am not qualified. Wow. Yeah, this is getting very, very complex. There's so much to look at, and that's just the way I love to have art. Uh, nothing wrong with minimalism in artwork that isn't super complex, but I, I really like it when it, that happens. Now i got to make some more decisions, and I want to quit. I like the way, you know, in many areas, the colors really mesh together and brought out different little line effects. I think I'm going to get a really tiny brush and just add a little bit more. This is definitely not what I was going for, but that's okay. I can't seem to find a very small brush. But um, I like it. As I said before, I call these center of my mind paintings. Where there's no subject matter, it is music without words, and it's my particular take on the abstract style. Okay, I want to get to the point where I'm not going to like it anymore because I'm going to overdo it. And anybody that paints knows exactly what I'm talking about there. You get so caught up into it that you start changing and changing, and then, uh-oh, you lost what you had. Okay, I'm about done. I'd like to get a little more blue into it. Because i got it up there, and usually, when you just have it in one place, it's usually not such a good idea. But you got to watch all those rules in art. As I, I mentioned many times, it's so easy to get too much into rules regulations and I think that is more harmful than helpful in my opinion okay I still have to get so big into blue-green and I always love to have blue-green working on especially working off of the um, reds wasn't expecting to have a spiral at all <laughs> that's so funny what I was expecting was to have curves here and then to repeat the pattern and then do it again and instead, it got real spirally, which is okay. I might try this again, and ne next time I might really draw in the pattern that I intended to do and see if I can get closer. Well, different, because I really do like this. Yeah, I think I might just quit. Well, a little bit, tiny bit more. No, I am just going to quit. Hmm. Okay. I think that's about it. Maybe a tiny bit more pink. I didn't use all these cups of water like I thought I was going to. I just kept drying the brush off big time. Oh, I like that. Real active pinks. Oh, I don't want to put too many on them. You can tie me to purple too. It's funny how I tend to avoid purple. I don't know why. I love purple. I love all colors. As I've said before, I don't really have a favorite. Um, artists tend not to because there's just too many. We work with too many. It's kind of hard to pick out a favorite when you work with so many colors as I do. Okay, that's too dark. And that's too yellow. I know this all sounds nuts, but it's just. Decades of handling paint and coming into what I like. All right, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click on the link in the top of the description ah, description <laughs> to see it, and there will, will be prints available if you're interested. Wall art prints, prints on just about anything. Also, there are links to my work on Etsy and other websites.